it's time for a bookshelf scavenger hunt. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name's Breeze. Stay for a while. Now, obviously we're gonna be doing a bookshelf scavenger hunt today. And if you didn't know what a bookshelf scavenger hunt is, let me tell you. So a bookshelf scavenger hunt is basically, there's 10 prompts that I've got to follow and each prompt leads to another book. And at the end of the prompts, prompt number 10 is the book that we're gonna read in this video today. I've seen a bunch of creators do this. I am not the original creator of this video by any means. I've seen books by Lele do it, I've seen Ellen Catherine do it, I've seen Riley Marie do it and so many others and I'll put all the prompts in the description below if you want to use these prompts as well but maybe we'll do more of these videos and I might make my own prompts, do a little tweaks here and there to make it more fun, change it up every video maybe but I thought this would be something different because I feel like I always do really long reading vlogs over a long period of time and there's like a number of books in there, there's like three plus books in there so I thought it'll just be fun just to read one single book and have like a fun way to lead with it and I'm really struggling at the minute with my TBR I feel like I'd never know what to read because I just have so many books to choose from so this bookshop scavenger hunt will really help me maybe choose something that I wouldn't normally pick up so let's get on with the video I do just want to give a little disclaimer I guess I've got a really bad back I've got like chronic back pain at the minute when I turn around I've got my little hot water bottle because my back is really bad so if you see a little koala bear hiding from my back it's because I've got it wrapped around me because it's just really nice on my back pain <laughs> we're just gonna go in with the first prompt so prompt number one is grab your favorite book go to the acknowledgements and at the first name you see you find a book by an author with that same name okay so we're gonna grab a five star read one of my favorite books okay i'm gonna go with daisy hates the great undoing absolutely love this book this is definitely my favorite book out of the daisy hates series so now we've got to go to the acknowledgements and the first name you see find a book by the author with that same name there better be acknowledgements ah yes there's thank yous first name maddie con and then molly lee Maddie Con. I don't think I have anything with the name Maddie, any authors with the name Maddie. I've got something, I've got Ma Mads. Does that count? Maddie, Mads. I feel like, yeah, except I feel like Molly. I don't have anything with Molly either. Do I have anything with Molly for the next name? I have Broken Faith by Mads Rafty. I feel like this is the closest one we're gonna get to Maddie, Mads. It's the first three letters. They're the same. We're not gonna get all these prompts spot on, but we're trying to get as close as possible. Okay, so prompt number two, pick something on that cover and find Find another book with the same thing in the title. Okay, so we've got some like, we've got some swords. We've got like a crown, a mask and like this necklace. Okay, we've got dragons on the crown, on the swords for there. So let's try and find a book with these things in the title. I feel like my best bet is probably gonna be a fantasy. I don't think there's gonna be any kind of sword in the title of a romance book. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna go with Dragon Rider by Taron Matharu. This is like the art copy, but it's obviously got the word dragon is that upside down? Yeah. It's obviously got the word dragon in the title. We go inside with the dragons on the cover. And it's also got a dragon on the cover. But how stunning is this arc though? It's absolutely stunning. I haven't read it yet, but I do really want to read it. Okay, now let's go on to prompt number three. Go to page 50, line five. Pick a word from that line and find a title with that word. Okay, so page 50, line five. One, two, three, four, five. Language spoken so comfortably, but five from shocked. Okay, so we've got to find a book with the title, with either one of those words in the title. So language spoken so comfortably, but far from shocked. I feel like our best bet is probably going to be the word far. We're not going to get anything with the word like language or spoken. Okay, I cannot find a single book with one of those words in there. So we're going to move down to the next line, which is High Imperial had long been used in many courts. Okay, courts. Akata book. A court. That was so stressful. <laughs> I literally looked through every single book on these shelves. Even the ones that are on to be sold pile at the bottom. That was so stressful. So we're gonna go with Akta now. Obviously the word court is obviously not plural, but court is what we're gonna go for in this because that was so stressful. Now we'll go on to prompt number four. Find a star. Find a star? Find a five star read with the same colours on the cover. Okay, so this is just pure red. It looks a bit orange in this light, but this is a red book with yellow writing on it. Not much to work with here, but a five star read that matches this colour. I'm gonna go with a not so, no, so not meant to be by Megan Brandy. I read this last year and it was a five star. Loved it so much. But obviously red and red. This looks more orange in the light. It's more of like a neon red. Obviously if you own the Acta books, you know what it is. I don't have to justify myself, but this 
this is red and this is also red it's just a darker red now we've got our book let's move on to prompt number five find a book with the same number of pages okay i feel like this is quite good i chose a standard book so this should be quite easy we should get quite a standard number like three to four hundred pages oh this is over 400 pages four five eight so you need to find a book that's either bang on the same or similar we might not get bang on God, I found one. It's as close as we're gonna get. It's four, five, nine. We're one page off. Oh my God, it's the closest we are gonna get. Okay, so we're gonna put a not so, not so not meant to be back and we picked up Ember Queen by Laura Sebastian. This is the second book in the Ash Princess trilogy and it's 440, no, 459 pages in here. And we had to get 458. I looked through every single book I felt like and I finally got more or less the last shelf and found one. So this should be quite easy. Number six, flip open to any page. First name you see, find a book by an author who shares that name okay this is gonna be so hard so i feel like i've got a fantasy book so they're gonna be really weird names flip open to any page okay the first name I'm trying to like skim so i don't actually spoil anything there's literally not a single name on this page let's go again okay there's names of like places in this one but that's not what i need S oh i found a name soren soren i know for a fact i haven't got a single author with the name soren oh i found a name theo i've got to have something similar surely okay do you know what i'm gonna change that prompt we're gonna do find a random name from the book and then one of the main characters in the books have to have that name so i found the name theo so i'm gonna get reckless by elsie silver because the male main character has the name theo because i'm changing it now because i cannot find a single author with the name theo so that's what the new prompt is <laughs> okay so now to prompt number seven find another title with the same number of letters so one two three four five six seven eight we got mile high by liz tom ford obviously you got eight in this title which is bang on so let's go to our seventh prompt no eighth prompt find a book with a similar cover so we've got the plane we've got like the blue sky and then we've got like the skyscrapers across there and on the back again we've just got the sky and the skyscrapers um i feel like oh okay what can i go for so without choosing one of the other books in the Windy City series because they are all extremely similar I've gone with Dun and Dusted because you've got like the sky in the background of this you've got like the sky the clouds blue so it's kind of similar improvising you guys okay so on to our last prompt any book that we get after this is the book that we are going to read so we've got to flip to a random page point to any word and find that word in a book title on your bookshelf open to a random page and we're just gonna point a random word oh summer the word summer but there okay so we've picked up the summer of broken rules by kl walther 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 and the screen might be for so long but i feel like this isn't the best time to read it i'm going into autumn now do you know what I mean it's fall time i want fantasy fall not summer romances but i guess we're gonna have to go with this i feel like it'll be quite a quick read under 400 pages so that's doable i guess let's get to reading
hundred pages in now. I'm on chapter eight. I'm on page hundred and thirteen. And I'm really struggling. Really struggling. I started to listen to the audiobook because I'm getting along with this book at all. And I don't know why. I don't know whether it's the writing style or if it's just the book itself and the plot itself. I'm not getting along with it. So I started to listen to the audiobook and read at the same time. Then like I can also listen to the audiobook while I'm pottering around and doing bits and bobs around the house. But I'm still not getting along with it. So I think I might give it like another hundred pages. I think I might read another hundred pages. And if I'm still not vibing with it then I think I might DNF it because I'm really not liking it. It's really cringy. The premise of the book sounds interesting. It follows Meredith who lost her sister a few years ago. I think it was like two years ago I think. But this summer she's like determined to go back out into the world and all that. So her family own a vineyard on the coast. So they all head out to the vineyard this summer for her cousin's wedding. The whole wedding party plays the game Assassin. That sounds really good. I love the Assassin game. I've never played it but I've read it a lot in books. So I think they played the Assassin game in The Fake Out and I loved it in that. In this, I don't know, it's like the whole plot of the book basically around this Assassin game. I'm just not vibing with it. I don't mind if it's like a little subplot but it's like the whole plot. Like obviously she forms it's like a romance book so she forms an alliance with one of the groomsmen which is, what was his name? Wit? Does it say on the back? Wit. Yeah. She formed an alliance with Wit but he's got no personality. No, that like no one has a personality. They're all like doors. Like they've literally all got personalities of a wooden door. I'm gonna give it another hundred pages or so. I'm just gonna listen to it, read a bit while I'm here. But like I'm gonna have a shower and stuff, make some food and I'm just gonna listen to the audiobook. I'll give it another hundred pages but I'm just not vibing with it. I finished. I actually finished it. I put myself through all that pain and I actually finished it. That was so long. So long. When I was making food last night I like listened to the audiobook on like two times speed and then like when I was eating and doing things around the house. Majority of it I listened to on audiobook but then I've read the last 70 pages I think. I didn't read the epilogue. I, I got to the epilogue and I was like yeah no but I'm not gonna read the epilogue. I very rarely read epilogues anyway. This is so bad. So bad. I'm rating this at 1.5 star. It's just like I never rate books that low and I'm very disappointed because I said in my like update my last update I gave the concept of it sounds really good like you know someone's wedding there's summer romance a beach house you have this big game of assassin between everyone and it sounds like it's gonna be really fun but it fell flat for me none of the relationship like felt realistic they all felt quite forced even like the bride and groom the cousins like they just didn't even seem to have any chemistry whatsoever I'm gonna have to double check it reads very YA so if you've ever read like a Lynn Painter book that's what this reads like and because I wasn't expecting that I think that's where I was like the most disappointed. I was expecting this really fun bit of spice summer romance book but I didn't have any of that. There was nothing. And like the insta love just like ugh. It was just so bad. I hate hate hate. Rating books so low. It's gonna have to be a 1.5 star. It was so strange and icky and weird. That's the right word. Icky. That's what the whole book was. Just one big massive ick. But overall it was a very painful read and I think I deserve a reward for reading that. I honestly do. That's the end of this video and the end of that book forever. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then give it a thumbs up and subscribe and do all the other YouTube stuff that I always ask you to do. I shall see you guys in the next video. Oh and also if you want to do this sort of bookshelf scavenger hunt little reminder that the prompts are in my description down below and maybe next time we'll do this bookshelf scavenger hunt and make up my own prompts now that we've got a good gist of what we're gonna do. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!